So we oddly didn't film anything that just happened as we sat on the freeway for 45 minutes without moving. My story is we've just been stopped on the freeway or the highway or the motorway, whatever they call it. Motorway. For 45 minutes, this poor bastard, his truck caught fire. Mind you, if Shannon hadn't stopped for a drink, we would have been past it because it happened literally as we coming out of the servo and blocked the entire thing. I mean, you can't sort of, like the poor guy, like whatever, it is what it is. Especially from us being a truck family, like that has just caused that whole situation so much drama. So whatever, like we can sit there for 45 minutes, it doesn't mean shit compared to what they are going through. Yeah. But like, fuck, we're now late and we now have to choose between Ali Castle, this Fuck me. The driving here is fucked. I've had enough. Holy fuck. <laughs> Your roads aren't big enough. Oh, Jesus. This, this is why fuck. I like coming from one of the youngest countries in the world because we made our roads for fucking cars. Oh my god, the driving here. Okay, so. So. <laughs> Not fucking horses. So, we had to make the decision between Ali and another castle. The other one was an Outlander filming location, but. It's still two additional hours and we might not make it even if we go past this one. So we've decided to go to Ali and plus Shannon doesn't pick very many activities. So we have to stick with this one because he actually this is something he wanted to see, which surprised me. So The reason um, I wanted to pick this one is because it's Tommy Shelby's house from Peaky Blinders. Yeah, so there you go, we're going there. I can't do this because we're on one of your dodgy roads going like this yeah. and I'm gonna get car sick. But yeah, we've just had a fun day. Ali <laughs> Hall. Yeah, totally open at this point. Open so far that we can walk. So as you've just seen, the bride and groom <laughs> who have hired out Harley Ali Hall. We can only access the gardens, which is not what Shadow wants to see. So I don't even want to be inside the house. I just want to go to the front of it. We're going to. I'm going <laughs> to bee. Shannon's allergic to bees, by the way. We're in the gardens. Yeah, we're right. <laughs> We're going to get to the front of that house, don't worry. Yeah, but if we don't get dying here too. <laughs> it is very pretty. We're working our way towards our plan of attack <laughs> for the front of the house. Somebody is suffering extremely hard oh, because hay fever has killed like, i've got no soul left it left the body <laughs> it's gone um it's it's in it's in, it's in there Oops. okay it's fucking happening i don't care <laughs> come to ali hall for christ's sake why hey why why because we fucking can because we fucking can, and if we can, we do. We made it. We're about to get kicked out because old mate's actually coming this time. Is he really? Yep. Okay. There we go. Peaky Blinders house. Hurrah. So Peaky Blinders fans, where are we now? <laughs> Waiting definitely paid off to be able to speak to the guard who I thought was going to kick us out. <laughs> because this is Tommy Shelby's office and you are sitting in the point of view of Tommy Shelby. How crazy is that?
six when you look out, not from my, like, I'm actually tired. Are you tired? I'm knackered. Yeah. It's been a big day. Been a huge day. Big, big day. But yeah, 10 p.m. More close to 10 p.m. And we're so close to our, we're staying at a castle. <sighs> Can't wait. This is where we're currently staying. How amazing is this place? Can't do it justice with our little it's, heads in it. It's that window there. there. Yeah, that's our phone. No, that's our, that's our bathroom. Yeah. And then that window <laughs> there? No, yeah. there, there is our bedroom. bedroom. But how spectacular is this? I mean, we're staying in a castle in Scotland. Scottish flag up there. It's it's just it's crazy. 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 Mwah. Love you. Crazy. As you enter your castle junior suite, you see a pumpkin. <laughs> This is our sitting area as you first walk in the door. It's so cool. Like, I can't even. I see a fridge. Oh, there's a fridge. Like we have a hotel that we've never stayed at. Yes. Fridge. Some caramels. And a little tea and coffee station. A telephone in here for your sitting room. My pumpkin. So, this is your first room. Then you go through these doors and you enter the bedroom where you have another sitting desk, a lamp, a TV, a bed, a very comfy looking bed. A closet with another heater, but you don't need the heater after you've come up the stairs. Because they are hardcore. <laughs> Out the window here, you have an amazing view. An amazing view. Like the camera is not doing it justice. In fact, can we possibly? No. Going to see window locked. Window locked. Okay. But we're not done yet. You come through here again. And then back through here. Here's the front door. This time you come this way. And then you come into here into your bathroom. <laughs> where he still is, hello. You have a bathtub, a shower, your sink, toilet. More spectacular views from three different areas because we are currently in the tower. How amazing is this? Like to be at the same level as the trees. It's something out of a, a fairy tale. And there's Glasgow over there. Isn't it amazing? And there's the other tower. Now, I think that's where our bedroom would be. No, where our um, sitting room is, in that area just there. But to get the views of the church, It looks so cool. I freaked myself out. I I don't know why I thought about the fact that we're sleeping in a hundred year old castle in Scotland. This room would not have always been a luxury room. Bad shit has happened here. And now I have absolutely freaked myself out. And I'm worried I'm going to sleepwalk. What do you think this is, The Shining? <sighs> I don't know. I've, I've totally given myself the heebie-jeebies. It's no good.
Now the TV won't work. It's really no good. <laughs> I love it though. I love this room. I love everything about it. Except for the fact that I'm now shitting my pants. <laughs> I mean, that does look creepy as fuck, doesn't it? Like, come here, little children. I'll take the away. It's only a hundred years old. A hundred years, a lot have has happened. <laughs> but you think about it, like... That's true. There's it, no, like, crazy medieval Tudor shit happening here. No. it was This was built in the Victorian era. Hmm, true. Like Queen Victoria died in 1901. Yeah, so this was built before she died, though. Just before. Hmm, okay. Good night. Good morning. We have just had breakfast downstairs, and we're now going to try and create some content for YouTube and Instagram and all that sort of stuff uh, from our window. Well, I'm at the window, looking all pretty. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But Shannon's down there trying to set up the drone. I can tell that he's having technical difficulties from the facial expressions that are happening. <laughs> but I'll show you where he is compared to me. There he is. Look at him. Isn't he adorable? He gets so paranoid though. He'll be like... Oh god, I'm gonna get caught flying the drone. Oh no. <laughs> Is it worth it? It will be. <laughs> so this place has been really amazing. The views are spectacular. And the room itself is so big and this was just the junior suite i could imagine what the one of the king or superior suites is like and we also noticed that in our room we're actually as high as we're going to be on this tower because the staircase to the upper floor is here in our room but it's locked off with a door so there's nobody else up there but i'd love to know what's up there it has to be storage or something like that but it's so cool there's so much history in this city it's just it's amazing You were amazing. And now, hello, stairs. <laughs> you are dreadful, you. Yeah. You are not my friend. You restricted my ups and downs. <laughs> because there were thousands of you. So the most random thing just happened. We're here filming for the Outlander filming locations and the neighbors are filming us because, you know, just in case something happens. So literally she pulled out her phone. Yeah. <laughs> walked up to us and was took like a photo and said just in case something happens. Just in case something happens. So what we'll do is put one of our our, our um We'll YouTube things in there and be like, hi, we're just filming an Outlander filming location. Please don't be alarmed. Yeah. But Check out our YouTube channel so we can tell you, hi, we're not here to rob you. No. I'm here to just take photos. I couldn't fit your luggage or anything stolen from your house in my suitcase to fly home. Don't want it anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want it. I've got my own shit to deal yeah. with. <laughs> um, Fair enough, though. Oh, look, yeah, that's good. That's good. But, I totally like, get it. It was so brazen. Like, yeah. it was just, yeah. like... There, there was, are there no was, fucks given. No. And the fact that you're looking out your window at me. I mean... Is she? Yeah. The one that took the photo. Where is she? 
I know, j just, what? why? Why do you have to? Because I would go and give her a pamphlet and go, here, this is what we're doing. Like, go check us out now. Like, yeah, you know. We're not. We're not, we're not casing the place. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, and you know what? You know what we'll write a note. She was near the computer. Well, um. You, wait, mm. you, be, you know our luck though? Our They're going to get robbed. They're going to get robbed tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So let's do this because I want to get out of here. I feel uncomfortable.